Hi, my name is Darcy Ott, and today I'm going to discuss the interview that I had with my school support TOSA, Becky Benefield, the other day. Um, she and I sat down and we talked about behavior management, and I chose Becky because she has had experience both as a teacher and currently in an administrative role. So I found it very informative. She could give me both sides of um you know, the behavior management piece of it as far as how she handled it as a teacher and then reflecting to today how she handles it in an administrative role. So um, I was one of the things I was surprised to learn about was that when Becky was a first grade teacher, she had a student that came in the first day and completely tore apart her classroom. Um, she was in a job share. It was her and another teacher, which doesn't normally happen, but um, for her in this instance, that was her situation. So both teachers were present um, and they had no forewarning. So it was kind of like, you know, the first day of school, everybody's excited. The kids come in, the parents had never said anything, and this kid destroys everything that you have worked on all summer to get everything prepared. So um, I was shocked to learn that during this whole process, though, she said that um, one that she was never informed of um, any previous history with this child. The parents had never said anything when they met her that first day of school. Um, and they never had an IEP, even though there was an IEP in the past, um, it was not current. And um, I was surprised at the time that it took for them to assess this child, to get another IEP in process, and then to, to find a different placement ultimately for him that was just a better fit. Overall, that time was about four months. And I know that it's not a, a quick process. I, I did wasn't expecting it to happen very quickly, but she said even at four months, it was pretty fast. And I just, I envisioned four months of a child tearing up your classroom and that had to have been frustrating. Um, so I learned a lot about the techniques that she used during that time. She talked a lot about having a behavior chart um, that she used with the student um, I've seen that actually firsthand. I've had experience in the classroom working as an instructional aide um, previously, and I know a lot of teachers that have used this visual aid. It's a great tool to use. Um, the behavior chart sits in front of the child, and depending on the teacher, some teachers use stickers, some use smiley faces, some use stars, um, but they indicate when the child is on task. And you have to, I feel like you have to really get to know your children. This is a very important part of being a teacher is also getting to know the student, getting to know what the student likes, what motivates them. And you use that as far as a reward for being on task and being ready in the classroom and showing positive behavior. So I think that is something that is used, um, all over the place. Like I said, I've seen many teachers use it and it's definitely something that I will use in my future classroom. Um, I think it's a great tool to handle any sort of behaviors, big or small. Um, I definitely think, you know, getting in front of a lot of these behaviors before they escalate is also very important. Um, I talked to Becky about the process of which they did the assessment for this particular student and um, she had told me that she was the one doing a lot of the testing in class, getting the benchmarks. Um, she said that the student was also removed from the class multiple times by the education specialist and the school psychologist for testing. Um, they also were a huge support to her during these four months that she had this student. They would come in, um, take the class or take the student away from the class whenever the behaviors would escalate. Um, which also is a, is a great help when you do have those resources available. I also found it was very, it was really motivating, really great to hear how Becky handled the situation as a new teacher. Um, she said that there were many times that she would have to take her whole class outside because of the behaviors of this one child. And it got to the point where it was just normal for these other students. And I really commend Becky for making it so that these children felt safe and they didn't feel like they were in harm. They felt like it was really just a normal part of their day. 
And I think that's fantastic. I think that speaks very highly of who she is as a teacher. And that's definitely something that I will work towards um, in my own classroom is just to make sure that all my students feel safe, um, you know, especially if I have a student that might have some behaviors that could escalate and they could possibly cause harm to another child or themselves. That's not something I would ever want to happen. Um, and of course, you know, making sure that the other students really aren't aware of what's going on so that they feel it's kind of normal, I also think is very important. Um, some of the mistakes and pitfalls um, that I would easily, I could avoid um, would be not, re, I guess, not reacting and, and not getting ahead of some of these behaviors. Um, like I said, Becky took it upon herself. She had this behavior chart in right away. She had the resources right away. As soon as that first day when that child came in and destroyed everything, she was meeting with the ed specialist. She was meeting with the principal. She was meeting with the school psychologist. Um, they started the SST right away and they got started on developing a new IEP for the students. So I think um, just kind of recognizing when these behaviors aren't quote unquote normal, um, you know, that is something that is a pitfall that I think some new teachers make. You think, oh, I can handle this. I can do it on my own. I don't want to show weakness, but I don't think that's what it is. I think at times we do need to look at, you know, the other resources that we have. There are a lot of professionals that have been doing this a lot longer. They have a lot of experience. They have a lot of knowledge and we do need to lean on them. We need to pull from them and their experiences um, so that we can be successful in our own classrooms. Um, as far as the interview process itself, was it difficult? Um, it wasn't difficult. It wasn't, um, I've known Becky for a really long time. We actually went to high school together um, and we have been colleagues for the last five years. So for me, it was a very comfortable conversation. We were able to sit down and um, kind of have just a very easy back and forth um, conversation about the behavior uh, management. And it was really great to, like I said, you know, now that she's in the administration role, I found it very interesting that um, there are so many op or so many opportunities for a new teacher or an experienced teacher to learn other things. There are PLC days where um, these professional learning days where they the team gets together. So for instance, um, all the third grade teachers will get together and they'll sit down and they'll talk strategies. And at times they'll talk about students that are a little bit difficult in the classroom. And then you can really kind of pull again from that experience from everybody else. So I thought that was fantastic. Um, overall, um, I think that this whole process was really informative. I really did learn a lot. Um, it was great sitting down with Becky and, and just talking to her about how she views behaviors, how she handles behaviors. And like I said, I, th I think it was really commendable that given the situation as a brand new teacher, she was able to handle it and, um, you know, get the help not only for the other students in the class to, you know, make sure that they were safe, but she also really helped the student. She's um, off camera. She told me that she actually ran into this particular student. He is now out of high school. He's working in the mall. He was working at a um, food court and she said that he's doing great. And she said it was just, it came full circle, you know, that here he is, he's got a full, he's got a job, he's working hard, he finished high school. And you know, when he was in first grade, he was <laughs> running around her classroom, totally destroying it. So she said that, you know, it really came full circle for her. And I think that's just such a wonderful part of being a teacher. We can, you know, work with these kids and we can do what we can to really help them succeed. And I think the work that she did in first grade, even though he was young, got him to the place where he needed to be in order to graduate high school. They got him into that correct placement. They got him the support he needed. And now he is successful and he's working. And that's really all we want for all the kids. So um, again, I really enjoyed this class. It was a it was fantastic. I learned so much about behavior management and, and how to handle it and PBIS and, you know, what all of that entails. And I'm really excited for where my future will take me. And I look forward to having my own class someday. Thank you so much.